welcome to the second half of my League of Legends roundup for February 12th. In this video, we'll be covering, as you see here, the LEC and um, the LCS. Right now I'm filming this, the LCS is going on. So, um, as I did for the first video, if you haven't been here before, I take notes on the games, save you the time of watching, say, a 39-minute game between BDS and XL. I tell you how XL won 17-17. Maybe note the key moments in a game, so... You want to go back and, and see an outplay or a turning point or a baron steal or whatever i i mean i tell you what happened so you can look it up for yourself um i also note maybe interesting team comp picks i mean we had a pike today um broken blade played yone top again um so things of that nature let's get started so bds and xl play um i have them seven and eight in my power rankings um my power rankings come out every week for the lec they come out every wednesday um, the game started off with Adam getting two solo kills on Finn at three and four minutes. He was dominating the Jace versus Aurelia matchup. XL would then go bot lane at eight minutes to be able to get Notion. So the early game, BDS have advantage top. XL have advantage bottom. BDS would go to top lane again at 12 minutes, um, get a kill. Marcoon would then clean up Adam with a solo kill afterwards. Um... 14 minutes, BDS would go bot lane and get two kills. So they're up 5 to 2, 1k gold at 15 minutes. After the reset, XL take another Hextech Drake. Um, 18 minutes, the first significant team fight of the game. XL win 3 to 2 and bot Patrick with a double kill. BDS then, uh, only a couple minutes later, would get a kill in mid. So there are kills going back and forth for both sides. The game is close. Um, however, XL have the two Drakes. Eventually, they take. An Infernal Soul to go to Infernal Soul Point, um, which puts the game in their hands. I mean, BDS may be more proactive having these advantages, but it doesn't matter if you are going to give away an Infernal Soul. 25 minutes, BDS win in mid 2 1, Syncroft with a double kill. 26 minutes, BDS are up 10 to 6, but only 1k gold. Syncroft 4 1 and 2, um, only 1k gold lead. So it's anyone's game, but Excel are at Infernal Soul Point. So, I mean, that's worth more than 1k gold. 28 minutes, BDS take an Infernal after winning a fight 3-2. There's a skirmish at 28 minutes that goes 1-1. One one. So now BDS, you know, stop the dragon stacking and they, I mean, need to keep stopping the dragon stacking. Uh, 33 minutes, Excel are able to finally get the Infernal sold, winning a team fight 4-1. Patrick with a triple kill. Patrick ends up being MVP mainly because of that. Double kill up here. Clearly was the carry. I believe he had 8 kills by this point in the game. 34 minutes, um, there was a fight where BDS would win, um, and four, well, actually, BDS didn't win. What occurred was, now this is coming back to me, I watch five games, and sometimes things, you know, these notes help me recall what happened. So, 33 minutes, Excel take the Infernal Soul, they win big. They try and force an end, BDS at least make a stand, 2-2, two to two, force a reset, in which case, Excel came back, took a Baron at 37 minutes, have a 4.5k gold lead and ended with that Baron. They just walked it in. That's why it's 17-17. to 17. It was not a um, big, you know, chaotic fight at the Nexus with a lot of kills. It, I mean, XL just walked it in and ended. Um, I think they only needed one kill to do the job. To get it, at least, to the Nexus. Game 2, we see SK upset Mad Lions. I mean, Mad Lions are really, I don't know what to think of Mad Lions right now. So, Mad Lions losing to SK is pretty embarrassing. Um, but let's get into it. So, Mad Lions get a kill on bot at 4 minutes. The bot lane of Mad Lions actually was pretty dominant. Despite that, SK got all the prio on drapes in the early game. So, SK take an ocean. Mad Lions get 2 kills in the 2v2 Unforgiven with both. SK take a Rift Herald, win a, get a kill to do it. Take a Cloud, get a pick. So SK after, you know, Mad Lions are, are, are dominating the bot lane matchup individually, but SK all where everywhere else on the Rift are winning. 15 minutes, it's 3-3, three to three. Mad Lions are up 2.5k. So despite SK getting kills everywhere else on the Rift and winning everywhere else in those fights, Mad Lions gold lead is still present. 16 minutes, SK go top lane. Mad Lions get a pick a minute later at 17, resulting in a Hextech Drake, so it stops the stacking. Um, 21 minutes, Mad Lions would get a kill mid, then take another Hex Tech Drake. Um, then both teams would exchange picks at 25 and 27 minutes. Um, Mad Lions would then go to Ocean, I mean Hex Tech Soul Point. So 
they're only one kill here or there going back and forth for quite a while. I mean, from 17 to 31 minutes. So, I mean, even beyond that, 32 minutes. So, for 15 minutes, all it was was like, oh, we got to kill back off. Oh, you got to kill back off. Oh, somebody got caught in vision, killed. That's it. Um, for instance, 31 minutes. Sirtus gets two pick plays on the Akali. That's why he becomes MVP. This stopped the Mad Lions from stacking Drakes after the sole point. It stopped the momentum. SK are able to take a Baron off of it, a 2-0 team fight win, where I believe Sirtus had a kill in that fight. Um, SK then go to uh, Hex Hex Soul Point themselves during that Baron. 34 minutes, SK are up only 8-6. to six. Sirtus is 4-1-3 and three on Akali, clearly carrying. 38 minutes, the game ends in a 5-1 team fight win in mid for SK. Jezu with a triple kill. Final score 13-7. Um, I mean, Mad Lions bot lane are, are definitely not to blame with everywhere else. Reeker couldn't keep up with um, Sirtus, and it just it, it, it didn't work out for them. Game three, Rogue end up losing again. They go 0-2 on the weekend. I don't know how I'm, uh, I don't know how I feel about that for my power rankings. Um, I don't know. So let's get into why they lost. Um, Misfits and Rogue both made a play at four minutes. Rogue would go mid. Misfits would go bot. Misfits benefited from that immediately by getting a 2v2 kill in the, within a minute later. Turn that into a hex tech Drake. Um, Rogue get a 2v2 kill to kind of stop the bleeding down there they go bot lane as well to really you know stop it so at eight minutes we've had four instances where something have half has happened bot lane um 10 minutes there's a fight in jungle goes one one rogue take an ocean they get a pick misfits then get a 2v2 kill again so still benefiting a bit from their um prio and bot lane from earlier in the game um after getting that 2v2 kill misfits go to um mountain soul point after a fight that goes one to one so at 20 minutes, Rogue are up 6-5. to five. Misfits have a slight gold lead. Um, Larson is 3-0 and 2 on Rise. Larson right now is the MVP of the game. Um, but he's playing for Rogue. So, 24 minutes, Rogue win a... Misfit... Uh, 24 minutes, Rogue take a mountain. Misfits win the fight afterwards 3-2. to two. Neon with a double kill. Neon ends up being MVP. We'll get into that shortly. Um, there's a fight in mid that goes 1-1. One 27 minutes, Misfits end up taking the Baron after winning 2-0. Um, 4.5k gold lead for themselves. Rogue would then take a Mountain in exchange, winning a fight 2-1 to one to do so a couple minutes later. So after the Baron subsides, that Mountain has been taken. Misfits are up 12-11, Neon is 4-2-6. and six. So you take away those two kills, and you think throughout this game, Neon has been participating in all these fights on the... Um, Jinx, whether it's getting assists or getting a two more kills. Um, 30 minutes, Neon would solo kill Larson. He would snipe him across the rift as he tried to back in a bush. Misfits then took the Baron at 34 minutes uncontested and ended with that Baron. 5-1, Neon triple kill, Harit double kill. Final score, 18-12. to 12. So like I said, Neon clearly the carry by the end of the game. 7, well, 8, 2, and 6. Um... I mean, what are you going to do? Like, that's a dominant performance out of a 80 carry, 8, 2, and 6. Game 4, Astralis G2. Um, Astralis would not be able to upset G2 in this one. G2 go top lane early to get a kill. Then they go top lane again. Um, actually, Astralis go top lane again at 5 minutes to try and offset what G2 had done. However, G2 outplayed the dive 1-1. One um, Astralis then attempt to dive bot lane at 8 minutes. That goes 2 to 1 in their favor. 9 minutes, G2 take a Rift Herald after a fight that goes 1 to 1. So there's a lot of skirmishes going on in the early game here. And they're really pretty much both teams getting, I mean, neither team is getting away unscathed. 11 minutes, there's a fight in the river that goes 1 to 1. So at 12 minutes, it's 5 to 5. I mean, pretty close. Zanzara has 4 of the 5 kills on the Trundle. Not good for Astralis. You do not want all your kills on the Trundle. Um, G2 take a hex tech. 16 minutes. G2 take the second Rift Herald. Astralis win the fight 2 0 afterwards. Zanzara with both kills, unfortunately. So G2 take an Infernal. 20 minutes. Astralis are up 7 5. G2 is a 2k gold lead because there is no oomph in any of the carries for Astralis. 30, 21 minutes. Caps is so far ahead of DeShorty. Solo kills him in the Rise Victor matchup. Um, Caps being the victor. 
one to one, they clean them up. Uh, 25 minutes, you two take a Baron on Contested. During that Baron, they're able to go to Cloud Soul Point after winning a fight 2-0. Um, after the Baron subsides, 27 minutes, G2 win 5-2 to two in top, Broken Blade and Flock to its double kills, resulting in another Baron, 8k gold lead. They end with that Baron um, two minutes later. Targamas is the MVP. I believe in his um, stats, his kill participation was like 80% or something. He was all over the rift. I really didn't think outside of that one solo kill that Caps really did much in terms of being special. Broken Blade died a lot in this game. Despite being able to get that double kill there, he died too much for me to make him MVP. So, Targamas is MVP. Uh, final game, Fnatic Vitality. Um, so, Fnatic looked really good right now. It looked like 12.2 was just not their patch because they returned to form. Um, five minutes, they go bot lane. Hillisang playing the pike. Seven minutes, Vitality get a pick, take an ocean, get another pick. There's a fight in the bot lane at nine minutes. It goes one to one, each team getting a kill. Fnatic take a hex tech. And then over the next few minutes, a lot happened, so bear with me. 14 minutes, Fnatic go top lane. They're up 2k gold. Fnatic go, uh, Vitality go mid at 16 minutes. Um, shortly after that, not even a minute later, there's a fight in the jungle where Fnatic wins 3-2. to two. And this is where, this is one of the first two fights. So this next fight, 17 minutes, a minute later, Fnatic win 4-0 in topside. Those two fights going 7-2 to two for Fnatic, completely, just they have the game after that. It was 10-6 to six at 18 minutes, 5k gold lead. Razork was 3-0-4 on Viego. He was fed. He ends up being the MVP. He was a facilitator in this game, and he continued to show off shortly after this. So Fnatic take a cloud, 19 minutes. Razork's able to solo kill self-made. 21 minutes, he's able to solo kill Alfari. So he is a monster on the Viego. Their gold lead's now 9k. Fnatic want to fight 22 minutes where Fnatic, uh, Upset gets a double kill. They turn that into Soul Point. 25 minutes, they get a pick, take a Baron, up 10k, 12k actually, and they end with that Baron two minutes later, final score 19 to 9. Fnatic just smoked them, which is big. I mean, I think we're kind of figuring out what we got here. Um, you know, starting the second round, Robin, I think it's it's Rogue, uh, it's still Rogue G2 Fnatic, and Vitality, Mad Lions, Misfits. Um, maybe. I have to figure out my power rankings for Wednesday. I'm just kind of going through them in my head. Um, but yeah, so these are the LEC power, um, games for today, week five, day two. Now on to the LCS. All right, now with the LCS. So these games were a, a little bit interesting, I won't lie. Um, the only two undefeated team going into tomorrow will be FlyQuest. And let's uh, get into why. So game one, Dignitas EG. Uh, only 11 kills in a 45 minute game. This is why I do these videos. It saves you 45 minutes of watching an 11 kill game. So EG goes Karma top. They try and go Enchanter top. Obviously pays off for them. However, it was a snoozer. Early game was slow. EG takes the first Drake. Dignitas get two picks in response. And then the Infernal. Um, EG go mid. 13 minutes. Digger up 3.5k gold which is standard for a situation like this, a composition like this. Now, uh, they never extend that gold lead, really. So, as a 11-kill game would be, um, there's a lot of brown lines here, which indicate a lot of mountain drakes taken back and forth. Between 13 minutes and 33 minutes, this is how it went. Dig took a mountain uncontested, then went to soul point uncontested. 27 minutes, EG would get a mountain soul to stop the stacking after a pick. 33 minutes, there would be a fight one-to-one -one where EG were to go to Mountain Soul themselves. So, 33 minutes, both teams are at Mountain Soul. Um, EG take the Baron after a pick at 35 minutes, go to Mountain Soul during that Baron. After it subsides, EG are up 4-3, to three, Digger up 3k gold at 40 minutes. 42 minutes, EG take a second Baron uncontested and end off of it. Um, 45 minutes, Dignitas... Tried to end through top. Blue was playing Ari, and he tried to end through top lane and came very close, but they could not stop the JoJo Pune recall as Danny killed all the um, Dignitas members 
in the bot lane as they were pushing. So it became like a Bates race, in which case Danny's triple kill was the big difference in this game. Um, instead of recalling, he killed everybody and they were able to end. So final score, 8-3, to three, EG's 2-1. and one. Game 2, 100 Thieves and Immortals. Close game as well. So five minutes, 100 Thieves would go top lane, get the first kill. IMT would respond on the bot side, getting a Drake, get a 2v2 kill. 100 Thieves would get a pick. By 10 minutes, 100 Thieves are up 1.5k gold. Then they take an Infernal. 12 minutes, Wild Turtle would snipe Abadage across the rift with the Mega Death Rocket. 16 minutes, uh, Immortals would take a rift herald after getting a pick. They would then go and take a, um, I mean, 100 Thieves would then take a Mountain at 17 minutes after a pick. 100 Thieves would continue their momentum at 19 minutes, winning a fight in Jungle 4-2. Closer with a triple kill on Viego. At this moment, we're kind of thinking that Heart Thieves are going to run away with this. IMT take a mountain. 23 minutes. Immortals are, I mean, Warner Thieves are up 7 to 5. 1.5k one gold, but Closer is 5 0 oh, 2 or 5 1 and 2. Um, so Closer is carrying this game, and I mean, without him, Immortals probably wins, but at the moment, Closer is hard carrying. Um, 28 minutes. 100 Thieves would go to Soul Point after getting. A fight that went 1-0. Um, 29 minutes. They would take the Baron after acing Immortals 5-2. Closer and Someday both with double kills. That pushed a gold lead that was 4k when it started to 6.5k when the Baron finally ended. After that Baron ended at 33 minutes, Immortals won a miraculous fight in mid 4-0. Wild Turtle with a double kill. Hence the MVP. They end the game. He got a Jinx reset and that's all he needed. Um, shows how overpowered Jinx is. Once she gets a kill, good luck stopping her. So, Wild Turtles the MVP. Immortals come out victorious with just, I mean, the only time they were ahead were the last minute of the game when they ended. Game 3 between TL and C9. The game that we were looking forward to the most today to see what C9 would draft. They pulled out a Karthus Jungle and they looked underprepared. They really looked like they didn't know how to play the composition properly. That Blabber really didn't have an idea of how to play the champion to ensure that his um, ultimates went off. Multiple times TL were able to knock him out of his ultimate, which was the difference in this game. Three minutes, TL would get a 2v2 kill on bot and then clean out the bot lane 2-0 in a dive. Um, take an ocean to get another 2v2 kill. By 10 minutes, they're up 1k and they've gotten three kills on the bot lane of C9. So TL are cruising. Han Sama ends up being MVP. He is a person that stood out all game long. TL take a hex tech. 11 minutes. C9 starts to mount a comeback with a 2 0 win in the river. Uh, TL would dive bot. 22 minutes. TL would get a pick to go to Soul Point after C9 had also taken an Infernal. So 22 minutes. Team Liquid have three Drakes. Cloud9 have one. 25 minutes. C9 get a pick. Take a Baron. Or up 3k gold. Take a uh, Drake with that. Um, Baron Pryo in a fight that went 2-2. Two two. So 30 minutes, the game is 7-7, seven seven, but because C9 had the Baron, they're up 4k gold. Um, 32 minutes, they rushed down the Baron after lowering TL's um, health bars. They pushed him off, pushed him into the jungle, burned down the Baron. However, when TL came back, they won the fight 3-2. Han Summon with a double kill, pretty much eliminating a lot of the power of the Baron. And also, the um, Infernal Soul was up at the time. So, because all these members of C9 died, Liquid just went over and took the Infernal Soul. Um, 35 minutes, TL are up 12 to 10. C9 are up 2.5k gold. So, as you see here, their Baron is dissipating. Their gold lead is dissipating. And Han Sama is 5, 1, and 6. He's shown up in all these fights in some way, shape, or form. One kill here or there. Double kill for that Baron. Um, double kill after that Baron. So, at 38 minutes, the final fight, Liquid won 5, 1 in mid. Um, Han Sama with a triple kill, final score 17-11. They ended off of it. I mean, no, two 2-1 two teams. These power rankings are going to be, these power rankings will be interesting because the four big big teams are all 2-1. and one. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So, I mean, I don't even look at the schedule the day before it happens, really. So, I don't know if they play each other, which will kind of answer a lot of those questions for me. But, uh, nevertheless, um, actually, I know C9 plays Immortals. So C9 could be 3-1. and one. Um, Don't tell 100 Thieves that because, I mean, 100 Thieves lost to him. Game 4, 
A 38-minute Golden Guardian CLG game. I wish I could get my 38 minutes back. I really do. Um, this and this game, oh my God. Just, I wish I could get the time back. So, um, one to one in top at four minutes, six minutes. CLG would go mid, seven minutes. GG would go 2 0 and bot. Lost with a double kill. Lost ends up being MVP. He shows up throughout this game multiple times. Um, whenever, imagine whenever GG gets a kill, most of the time it was lost um, in this early game. Um, by 10 minutes, they were up 3K gold. The Golden Guardians were crushing them. Uh, CLG took an ocean. Golden Guardians went bot. CLG got a kill in River. So the teams keep up changing kills back and forth. But the gold league continues to grow. It's 5k at 15 minutes. Um, C GG would take a cloud. The teams exchange picks. Um, between 16 and 20 minutes. I mean, two picks were exchanged. And then also Golden Guardians would go to mid and bot lane. Get pick plays to increase their lead. 20 minutes are up 8k gold. Lost is 5-0-0. And they have 7 kills. They're up 7-4. to four. <coughs> Excuse me. Golden Guardians take a Hextech Drake. 22 minutes, CLG get a kill in mid. Um, 23 minutes, Golden Guardians take a Baron after a pick. That goes to 10k gold lead, and this is where things get irritating. They have a gold lead at 23 minutes, and you know the team isn't that good because it took them 15 minutes to end after getting a 10k gold lead. Um, they go to Hextech Soul Point during the Baron. CLG are able to force them in a reset to a reset. 30 minutes, Golden Guardians would take another Baron. Um, but not fight for the Hextech Soul, allowing CLG to get another Drake. Um, well, not actually like go 50-50. They did fight a little bit because Golden Guardians lost a fight. I mean, won a fight two to one. Like they, they took down more members of CLG, but did not stay at the pit. They just let GG take it. Um, I mean, CLG take it. So 33 minutes, the teams would trade kills again. 36 minutes, Golden Guardians would finally take the Soul after getting a pick. Turn that into a Baron, um, and then finally just pushed in, because they were taking in hips, and hips were gone for like 10 minutes, and they are just struggling to end the damn game. They did finally at 39 minutes, um, lost as the MVP, like I said. Final game, Fly and TSM, complete blowout, 22-5. Uh, to 5. I can't believe, I'm surprised by this. I, I really didn't think FlyQuest had it in to blow somebody out. Um, they didn't do Enchanters, thank, um, I mean, thank God, because I don't know if I could have handled another one of those first games. Uh, four minutes, Fly win 1-0 in top, in a 2v2 top jungle, uh, 2v2. Five minutes, Fly would go bot, get a kill, turn that into a Cloud Drake with Pryo. TSM would take the Rift Herald at nine minutes, Fly would punish them, winning 2-1. By 11 minutes, they're up 2k gold. Um, Fly would then take an Ocean. 14 minutes, they win 2-0 in mid. By 15 minutes, Fly are up 7-1. Takuli is 3-0-1, oh, and, and they're up 3K gold. 17 minutes, Fly would pick, get a pick. Take an Infernal Soul Point. 20 minutes, Fly would take the um, Baron on spawn, pretty much. Like, 20-07 is when they took it, pretty much. 5.5K gold lead. Fly would win 2-0 in a fight afterwards. Um, win a fight 2-0 in bot during the Baron. They're just crushing them. I mean, every stage of this game, they are beating TSM. Only at 23 minutes did TSM actually do anything, and it was to stop the end. Um, Fly were pushing down bot, and TSM responded with, in a fight that ended up 3-3. Three to three. Takuli with a double kill there. Um, like I said, Takuli ends up being MVP. He showed up multiple times. <clears throat> Hard carried in the early game. On Zoe, 24 minutes after they got forced to reset. Fly would then take Infernal Soul and then end a minute later, 3-1. to one, Johnson with a double kill. Um, yeah, so that's the LCS for week two, day one. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, um, like and subscribe. If you have any comments, comment. Um, you know, just the deal. Tomorrow I will have a video up for um, LPL and LCK and then the LCS by themselves because the LEC doesn't play on Sundays, so... Thank you for watching and hope you come back for more content.